talking about time and how your life can change in an absolute instant. That's why you just can't take it for granted. I want you to please welcome a good friend of mine, best-selling author Mitch Album, whose latest book, The Timekeeper, is in stores now, and he talks about this very thing. Come on out, Mitch. <laughs> Folks, Hi. this is Dawn well, and Karen. It's a moving story to be backstage. Everybody's crying backstage. <laughs> <laughs> well, and you know, we this whole thing. We've been talking about time today, and you know, it was interesting. Were you able to watch the first part of the show? Yes. Um, sorry. Can I say something about that? Yes, please. As a as a parent who lost a child, I believe that no matter what you have to do to fix your relationship with your child, you should do. And the things that you make big problems after losing a child mean nothing. No question about it. I, that's what I'm trying to say. So, if we just thought this show was just a perfect fit for the Timekeeper. Why did you write about time? Well, because we're so infatuated with it, where all we do is look at our Blackberries and our phones and our digital readouts, and yet we have more time than ever, and everybody feels like they're, they don't have enough of it. And so I thought, well, this is a subject that everybody's talking about. And I see so many parallels in the stories that you've talked about in the show already to what I deal with in The Timekeeper. Yeah. And it, it's interesting, in Timekeeper, you have a mother-daughter story in there. That's right. And uh, you kind of reinvent Father Time uh, in a completely different different way. And he gets in trouble, actually. <laughs> uh, Father Time does, because he invented the first watch. Yeah. He was the first person on Earth to uh, begin to count the minutes before him, we just lived. Then all of a sudden, we started counting, and so he's he's punished for ruining it for all of us, and he has to live in a cave forever and listen to all the voices of all the people complaining about time until he gets to come back in our time. And you're right, he meets a, 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 a young person and an old person. He has to teach them the true meaning of time, and the young person is a girl who wants to kill herself because her love life hasn't worked out. And his lesson to her is you can't give back time because you never know when tomorrow could change the world for you and I'm sitting next to a person who clearly that's the absolute truth of you know you were ready to, you were ready to go and um, tomorrow changed everything if you give up you're giving up on hope hope is the essence of life so this whole show has proven to me what kind of the whole reason I wrote this book the timekeeper because there's a moment where father time as you point out the other person he talks to is an old man who wants to live forever he doesn't want to die he's gonna freeze himself so he can come back for another another lifetime and Father Time says to him, that's not how it works either. There's a reason that God limits your days. And he says, what could possibly be the reason? And the answer is, that's what makes each one of them precious. I have kind of a paradoxical reaction to your book, The Timekeeper, because uh, having read it, I became more conscious of time. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and in a sense, it's saying, don't worry, just live. Don't worry about counting. It's not about counting, but it, I mean, the finiteness of it, you cannot read that book and not come away with the sense that it is precious, don't waste a minute of it. Don't let the sun set on you another day without saying or doing whatever needs to be said or done with the people you love in your life. And you said it every day to, and, to and your daughter. And that's my saving grace with my daughter because I was the best mother I can be. And yeah. yes, especially in teen years, you have conflict and you know they hate you one minute and love you sure. the next. But with my daughter, that's my biggest uh, saving grace is she wrote me notes, she wrote me letters. What a good mom you are, and I love you so much, and we're best friends. And my last Mother's Day card from her was a beautiful letter that said, thank you for coming to see me and for all, meeting all my needs and loving me for as much as you do. So that's, that's peace for me. Yeah, it is. I mean, that's, that's recognizing the value and the finiteness mm -hmm. of it all. So... Mm -hmm. Uh, that is a thought-provoking book. You cannot read it and not change the way you approach the time in your life. I mean, it's just amazing. I, you two will really, really love this. Mitch Albin's latest book, The Timekeeper, is in stores and it's online today. We'll be right back. Close captioning provided by...